All right. Welcome back to Blue by 90. I'm Justin, joined by Jack and Tanner today. It is October 12th, and it's cold. It's this dry. fall weather, dude. This it, it, is it, is it even fall? Like it went, I don't know, man. It went straight from 85 degrees to 40 degrees in rainy. And some people like it. I know Tanner's a fan. Oh, He's been I waiting for, for this. It is sweatshirt weather. It is. Flannel weather, you know, maybe a, a puffy vest, perhaps. Ooh. Like Claudia just got a couple of those. So she's mm-hmm. like ready for it. Love that. Uh, not not a fan of the sleet though, or like the freezing rain, potentially freezing la- rain. Like I'm I'm good on that. Saturday is gonna be uh be layered up, that's for sure. For yeah. me, it's a uh, it's Wolverine boots weekend where Ooh. they've got all the flannel gear, like hoodies. You wear the big boots. Like I'm pretty pumped up about that. Do you have a connection that could hook us up with some discounts potentially? Because I'm a big Carhartt guy, but I'll sell out. Whoa, like, I will sell out. <laughs> I think you absolutely should sell out for Wolverine boots. They're a great brand. I do have a flannel of theirs that my mom got me just because it was Wolverine. She thought I thought it was, she's like, I thought you'd like that. And I was like, I do. Thank you. (laughs) Um, That was last Christmas. It's very comfy. I like it. A little uh, teaser here at uh, over at the Valiant studios Uh, next week is going to be Wolverine boots week. So gonna, you know, there's going to be a lot going on. So um, with uh, maybe starring some of your favorite Michigan football stars. I don't know. So a little plug there. Um, But, you know, the other brand I want to plug here as well, I've got two to plug. One is our friends at North Peak Brewing. Um, I cracked cracked a Havoc Fresh Coast IPA. I do love not West Coast. It's Fresh Coast IPA. I love that. Um, They're just, you know, fun, fun people uh, over there at North Peak Brewing. Um, today it's the, the havoc, but Saturday it will be the hail IPA and the blue by 90, uh, game day ale as well. Um, so go to bushes right now, grab your six pack, uh, and, and, uh, you know, you have to stock up. It's going to be, we're going to need a couple drinks in us to stay warm on Saturday. Dude, I was hyping up, uh, the beers to the state and Liberty crew today and they were all like jacked up i was like yeah justin's dropping off a couple pallets tomorrow for the tailgate and they're like pallets i'm like yeah pallets that's pallets we go, we're, yeah, we're, do you have, we're, a, we're do you have a loader do you have a skid loader we could potentially borrow at the uh state and liberty tailgate <laughs> potentially <laughs> potentially yeah. the, well that was the other brand that we needed to give a shout out to was state and liberty so um if you're listening and you're in ann arbor thinking about coming to the blue by 90 uh tailgate Unfortunately, we are not going to be there this weekend. We're going to be over at the State and Liberty um, tailgate on Main Street. So hit us up if you're trying to come through. We can we can maybe figure something out. Get we'll figure something the, out. Get you on the pass list. You know, some VIP mm. guests. Um, yeah. Oh yeah. But uh, but yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have a good time. Um, you know, I uh, I I sometimes I'm like when how old am i when i start thinking like uh you know the weather um uh, it used you know a couple years back i'm like it could be zero degrees and and i'm tailgating for you know for that but now i'm married i feel like an old man sometimes and i was just thinking about like damn packing up in like freezing rain sounds pretty miserable i am i ryan day am i cj stroud <laughs> I'm worried about am I oh fuck. I think that I think the biggest issue too is they're playing Indiana. Like if it was like that's true. Penn State, Ohio State, if Michigan State was good, you know, it would be like more tolerable and more fun. I mean, one of the best days of my life was November 27, 2021. And it was and a blizzard. the coldest days of our life. It, it was a great fucking day. And yeah. like after the game, we we're like, dude, it's snowing, it's cold, it's great. We're running on a high. It just makes it that much that, more magical. That must have been the the one of the coldest days where I never once felt cold. Never once did I even think about feeling cold that day. Uh, I love that because this the juice. Right in the fireball. Good. Yes, we did have a decent. That will, that will keep your insides lined with heat for yeah. hours. It'll kill to the come. lining, but it will um, keep you warm. Yeah, well, I, like, go yeah. ahead. No, you're good. I was gonna make a joke and then I lost it. So go ahead. <laughs> Perfect. I love being self self aware on that. You know, mid sentence. 
Um, but uh, I hope that our football team is not as soft as myself or Ryan Day because they do have, you know, even though it's Indiana, they do have to get up uh, and go uh, run the football block, you know, catch the football, pass the football, all those types of things with the balls. Defend the um, football. Defend yes. the football. Yes. Um, yes. Uh, so I think they'll be ready, but I think, do you think they're sitting there? They're just like, I feel like they kind of probably are feeling the exact same thing. They're like, it's fucking Indiana. Like, I don't want to be here. They're terrible. We're really good. Let's just go out there, get this done as quickly as possible and go back inside. I hope so. Hold on to the ball, run the ball, run the clock out and the game as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. I feel like they're probably at a point where like, obviously they're still busting their tail and they're, it's not like they're going through the motions, but like in the locker room, they're probably like, dude, can we like, get through these games and get to Penn state like we all are. Like, I, I bet that's probably like, you know, after they're smoking Minnesota on the side on like, dude, I can't, I can't keep doing this. These poor yeah. schools just getting absolutely demolished. Like, I don't know. I agree. Um, I do wonder if they're ready. Like if they're pretty hyped to go to East Lansing now, I think that one, oh, that. you know, even though obviously I, it truly is going to be, is this the worst Michigan state team in like, in the 21st century? Oh, well, no. Three nine years was pretty tough. That team was kind of unlucky, but also bad. But, like, since Mark D'Antonio is, I think, where I'd cut it off. Because some of those, like, Michigan beat them 49-3, to I think, in, like, 2002. So, like, there were some really, really, you know, bad MSU teams. In the when early did 2000s. D'Antonio start? When did John L. Smith stop and D'Antonio start? Well, it would have been 07 because that was hard slashed year when he made the comment. So, yeah, 07 um was when i believe he took over so yeah in the last 15 years this is probably their worst football team so but i still think and i hope coach harbaugh is feeling the same as well where i don't care i want to go there and be win that by 100 i 90 you know if i had to put a number to it if possible Um, (laughs) but i do i want to beat the shit out of them um and yeah i i i'll be honest i'm looking past <coughs> indiana, looking past indiana to msu um so all oh, right we got a bye week after indiana right no after msu after, after msu, MSU. Yeah. yeah that's a good reset i feel like like you go after the bye week you play purdue right and so instead of going off off of a bye week to play penn state like i actually this is a off kind of off topic but like i would much rather before a big game have a bye play somebody else and then play the big game. So I think Ooh. it sets up perfectly for Michigan after the bye to kind of get back into, into the swing of things against Purdue and Agreed. then head to happy Valley, which we're counting down the days like, dude. So I don't know, Justin, if you feel this, but like whenever we're doing shows and it's like, you know, I hop on like the voice of college football and I love going to all these shows. It's not that, but it's just like, tell me about Indiana. And I'm like, they stink. Like I don't <laughs> want to spend 30 minutes dissecting Indiana Hoosier football. I, you know, it's like, I felt that way the whole season. I totally agree with you. Like, usually it's like, you know, you're trying to, all right, where are the holes on, you know, Michigan's opponents, the this week's opponent's defense uh, that, you know, Michigan can exploit. And it's like literally the whole team. I don't know. What do you want me to say? I, I don't know. Michigan's going to demolish. Like, they're, I don't know. Is there a, a, is there a player on Indiana, on Minnesota, on Nebraska and anywhere that would start on Michigan's team. Hmm, I don't know enough about football to answer that question. Tanner might be better for that. Tanner, let's um, use your knowledge here. Uh, oh, Tyler God. Durbin from Minnesota is a stud. Their safety. Pull that one out. He will be a he will be a high draft pick. He's a stud. He would probably get a lot of PT. Um, I he wouldn't start, but Darius Taylor he didn't play, but like he's a guy that I like uh, from Minnesota, um, Nebraska. I like, right? yeah, yeah. From uh, I believe he's from Wald Lake uh, yeah. in Michigan, Ooh. so maybe a transfer I, portal hey, candidate. Portal candidate. I'm, Who knows? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Um, I like the Nash. Is it Hutmeyer from Nebraska? Their nose, but like, I mean, he would get run, but like Kenneth Grant, Chris Jenkins, Mason. Grant, all right, all right, all right. Yeah, I know. I'm just I'm flexing a little bit my football knowledge here. Uh, <laughs> They didn't have good. Uh, I don't even know. I don't even know where, like, where we even go with that. No, I know. I mean, the point is that, like, legitimately, you to your point, you know, we're trying to break things down and see, like, where we can exploit. Like, 
Michigan is that loaded. They truly are that loaded right now. And I, you know, on our on our live stream, a live stream on uh, Bleacher Report, I, you know, Michigan has done everything it's needed to these teams over the past, especially few weeks. First three weeks of the season, they probably left some to be desired, right? It was like, you know, they there was no time where you're like, ah, oh, shit, we're going to lose this game. But you're looking for them to just be dominant. And in the last, in, in October, in late September and early October, they have been dominant. And so, um, you know, I actually, now that I'm saying that, this weekend, I wouldn't be shocked if it if we revert back to just being boring and winning by 21 points or something because it's cold and rainy and like nobody cares. You know what I mean? It's almost funny to say that boring and just winning, but still winning by 21. But like, I, I mean, we are. But so, no, I get what you're saying. We're so spoiled right now. It's so you're spoiled. so right. You like we have to call ourselves out on that right now because like. You just never know when the winning stops. You know, like it's so easy to say, oh, this is so stupid. We're playing Indiana. I'm going to beat them by 30. Like, yeah. I, there was years not that long ago that I would kill to, you know, have oh an easy God. win. Even, even some of the good years, like we're going to Indiana and winning an OT, you know? Yeah. I mean, last year was 10 to 10 and a half. So, but this Indiana team, it's really bad. Um, I Justin wanted to circle back. <laughs> I do. What do you want from me, man? I don't terrible. know. Uh, Justin, I wanted to circle back. I wanted to share this with you and the listeners. Circle back. We'll follow so, up. Yeah, uh, let's synergize. Um, hey, but shoot what, me calendar link. Hey, Calendly is what I use. Let people book the meeting. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. but what you were talking about with Michigan doing everything that it's needed to do to remain number two in the country and, you know, kind of live up the expectations. My big thing lately is when I go on TikTok, I get a lot of, I get a lot of college football analysts and, you know, TikTokers where they're dedicated to college football. And I'll just go. I saw one today, man, where this guy was revisiting his Big Ten championship selection. He had Michigan and Illinois. And so he, he picked who he thought moving forward after the first six weeks, seven weeks of the season would be in the Big Ten Championship, and he put Ohio State and then, like, Wisconsin. And I was like, what have you seen from Michigan? Yeah, so I'm just – I trolled him. Um, I don't think he took the bait, but that's my thing now is I just go and I just, like – anyone who says negative things about Michigan on TikTok, I just, like, roast them. So that's been, like, my – like, after work, I'm just watching TV. Yeah, that's what I've been doing. So I'm a little – little South Park and and roast some – No, no. Claudia will not let me – uh, watch South Park. Um, <laughs> why so you... that's why I've got the iPad though, because I can watch. You know, I can throw the headphones in. You can be an iPad kid. Is I am an iPad too, kid. It's too yeah. naughty, huh? It's too naughty. She doesn't find it funny. Oh, but I showed her a clip of Butters uh, that I thought was hilarious, and she laughed. And now she quotes it. I'm like, watch the show. Like, just <laughs> humor me here. So I don't know. It's a, it's a. That's the worst part about being married is what? like having to pick shows to watch. That's my yeah. least favorite part. I'll get that out there. Yeah. Um. What uh, what would you say? What are dumb things that guys think are funny as fuck, and girls are like, I don't get it at all. Oh, talking about shit at all, just like shit, like shitting your pants. I have that conversation Ooh. with guys constantly, and women are just like, "What are you, what are you talking about? Like, you shit your pants. If you Farting. if you don't shit your pants as an adult, you're lying." And now I know that you're not an honest person. I don't know if I've ever sure. done that. I'm you've never honest. you've never pooped your Come pants. On. As a kid, as an, as an adult, as an adult, you never pooped your pants. No, so you, so, so you're not honest. You're a liar. You're a liar. You're I a liar. get, I get to where I need to go to accomplish that task. Like that's never happened okay. to me. All right. Yeah, there, but there's <clears> times <throat> there. There's there are times where you just can't get to where you need to go. Yeah, or you I think just, it's something else, and you're like, oh or, shit, I've gone too far. Yeah, exactly. You gamble, and sometimes you lose the gamble. Yeah. This is what Michigan's schedule is doing to us, guys. This is <laughs> we're so far off the rails. We're not even close to the fucking tracks anymore. Um, I think one other thing is like old, su- stupid, like YouTube videos and vines from like <laughs> I think they're the funniest thing ever from like things we grew up on. And then I show them to Jacqueline. She's like, I I truly she's like, I'm not trying to be a jerk. I just don't get it. I don't understand it. <laughs> yeah that's let me get some chicken nuggets just just brown. in general though just like <laughs> things dudes enjoy is just throwing on Tavon austin's college <laughs> highlights like at a party 
and Kid Ink Helen back comes on, mm-hmm. and everyone else is like, what? it's the same as like the where did he go to college? TJ Hushmanzada. Oh, I like that. Yeah, Oregon State. State? Was it Ooh. Oregon State? Hey man, Ocho Cinco. Who's Oregon your State. mama? Yeah, uh, that's a fun Cinco guy's went thing. To Florida State. Yeah, no. just like na- naming naming oh. naming random yeah. naming random athletes for sure. Yeah, Danny Woodhead. Like that's that's a fun one. Like yeah, that you game. Know, Let's go one round here. Let's Oof. pick. Uh, let's pick one letter, and you have to say an athlete that start. The first name starts with a letter. Um, I'm just being random. I'm gonna say G because I have a. I have a. Jesus. Strong one here. I have a humble brag, but I have a Gus Macker champion hat Ooh. here. So Ooh. didn't humble have to brag. flex on us that hard. All right. Um, we. Tanner, you go start with a G now. Uh, can I be first or last name? Uh, sure. Jeremy ah. Gallon. Jeremy Gallon. I like that. Jack? I'm not going to cheat, and I'm going to stick with first name Gary Payton. Ooh. Gary Payton. All right. The gloves. Um, I'm going to get one that reverses order now. Graham Glasgow. You do a double. Highest graded guard by PFF last week for the Lions. Yeah. Oh, Four and one Detroit Lions, might I add. Yep. Super Bowl soon to be champion. Super Bowl Lions. We were in so we were in Boston watching the game at a sports bar, and they're just demolishing the Panthers, which is what really good NFL teams do to really shitty NFL teams. And Claudia looks at me and she's like, What if they go to the Super Bowl? And I'm like, Would you sh- slow your yeah. roll? <laughs> Let's win a playoff game. No, yeah, let's they're going get Super to a Bowl. playoff game. They're going Super Bowl. I, you're wearing a Detroit fucking hat, and you're not I believing am. in the Lions going. I to believe, Super Bowl? baby, but I've been burned too many times. I need. That's the fun of it, man. You that's gotta, true. You I'm gonna like in. week week nine. I'm gonna be emotionally just dive in. Like I'm still, I'm all the way in right now. But well, like know. I, I'm probably not. But it's it, like Super Bowl. That's tough. Like let's let's win let's win. Gotta a have something game. to root for, man. Gotta have something to root for. Absolutely. Well, you know, when I was at the Morgan Wallen concert in Ford Field, I was airdropping photos of Jared Goff from ESPN, like his headshot, <laughs> just to random iPhones. Uh, because I was very I love drunk. That move. That's the yeah. best. And I told all the security guards, I was like, I'll see you here in January for the NFC championship. Like every security guard I saw, and they all loved it. It was great. So <laughs> I uh we should start doing that with just like the blue by 90 logo to everybody <laughs> in Michigan Stadium. Like that's fucking like genius. our Ven- or like our Venmo account or something. <laughs> <laughs> that's fucking great. We should have a traveling person dedicated, or like we switch it up and we just go to game day and we just have the blue by ninety Venmo or Cash App on a sign, yeah. and we're right next to the Washington oh, yeah. State flag that's there every week. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, god. That and it can be like it can just be like the Ryan Day is soft foundation is that sort of that thing. would be fucking great change the name of our venmo to speaking ryan of ryan day is soft did you guys see ohio state rush for like three yards of carry against a bad maryland rush defense because i sure did dude they're okay let's talk about them for a second i don't think they're good knock on wood knock on wood like i'm not trying to get ahead of myself and i don't i hate to talk myself into this in, in week seven you know what i mean like Usually I try to convince myself that they're really, really good so that like the expectation is that like, we're not going to beat them, you know? And then when we do beat them, then holy shit, this is awesome. I mean, I've watched them and they're, I don't think they're that good. And Um, go ahead. I I, I agree with you. I think I'm I'm not going to say they're not good, but I think they're just on a different fucking planet than Michigan right now. Like they're, they're not good enough to beat Michigan. And I feel very confident in that, but I think they, they'll still win the games they're supposed to win. But no, like, they're not gonna games. like they're not the same Ohio State team they have been. No, no, they're not. I mean, Ryan Day's on the sideline looking frustrated. I mean, you know, in the second half, McCord, to his credit, he made some throws and they made some plays, but a lot of that was Marvin Harrison Jr. being a freak. Um, mm-hmm. But they can't run the ball. Mayan Williams, I don't think still he doesn't have 100 yards uh, total rushing total not a 100 yard game like 100 yards in the season what's travion's deal as well yeah is he hurt i'm not sure i think chip Traanum is the best of the three but they don't play him as much for whatever reason um i thought he looked the best against michigan last year in the game uh number 19 they're running back so yeah i don't know man um in maryland god i can't imagine being a maryland fan like 
Mike Loxley and Josh Gaddis were just having, we didn't realize it at the time, but just the most mid off ever when they're like arguing about who designed the plays and who called them or whatever, <laughs> when he was at Michigan, you both suck. Like, I don't know. You both are terrible. Um, I mean, Josh Gaddis, they're down 10 dude runs four straight halfback dives, basically like have a keeper with two of one of them. JTT crashes do? down Two of would have scored like just ridiculous. How does he have a job? Like, it is interesting. I don't know. Um, one thing, though, I want to touch on for Ohio State. So for teams like that where, okay, Maryland's obviously a lesser, of an inferior opponent to them, right? And Ohio State's more team. talented at pretty much every everything. And so there are some games where I think, like, you know, a team will hang for a half on maybe – a couple deep plays or something like that, or they'll have some big plays and it'll be 14, 14 Maryland was out like doing everything to, to Ohio state. They were out rushing. They were out tackling. They were doing it all. It wasn't just a couple big plays. They were pushing them around and in the shoe. And this is like, and this is somewhat of a hyped up game for Ohio state. I, you know, one of the other than Notre Dame, the biggest one of the year, like, I don't know. I'm just I I truly don't believe that they are like anywhere near any Urban Meyer team at Ohio State at all. They got that dog in them. No. <laughs> oh. I mean truthfully, like this is ridiculous as that sounds, like Urban Meyer teams just had this edge to them when it was when he was at Florida, when he was at Ohio State. I mean, hell, even when he was at Utah, they just played with the nastiness. This team is just I mean, look, they're still going to win 10 games. They very may, may well, you know, be beat Michigan. I, I don't know. I mean, it's football. Anything could happen. They've got playmakers yeah. all over the field, right? Like, it's not a given. <laughs> but I watch this team, and I'm watching Maryland, and just Maryland was dominating in the first half. And then, I, again, Ohio State took over in the second half. Credit to them for, for playing well but in the second half. But watching them and then watching, you know, we don't like the transitive property. I don't at least. Um, but I do think you can take Ooh, things it. from watching one team and their performance against the same team and another team. Uh, Notre Dame, if Notre Dame would have committed to running the football against Ohio State, they would have won that game. Um, and Notre Dame couldn't run the ball at all against Louisville last week. So, like, their big win, we talked about it because we had a Buckeye come into our Bleacher Report show, but their big win is sitting at 4-2 and two with a game against USC at home this weekend. Like, they may very well be unranked um, for their big win on the season. Like, I don't think Notre Dame's that good. Um, and watching the just, I think it's a trend of just watching Ohio State and expecting more in the Notre Dame game. It's like you, you can't move the ball, you know, you're not really doing too much offensively. Same thing in the Maryland game, like it seems to be a trend. And Ryan Day looks like perplexed on the sideline. Like, I don't know if you saw like that, that like when you let out like a like that was on the sideline, like very visual podcast here. Um, but like that was his reaction to some of the offensive issues. And I just don't know if they've got a fix because I just don't think their quarterback's very good. So I, do you think I'm that agreeing. you think USC is gonna blow out Notre Dame this weekend? No, I don't. I think Notre I think USC will win though. I don't yeah. think Notre Dame's offense is good enough, but USC's Notre, defense stinks. But also Dame, Caleb right, Williams. That's what I was kind of thinking. I mean, yeah, Caleb Williams is a fucking freak. Is Notre Dame USC the battle of mid? Kinda. I don't think USC's that good either. They should have lost to Jet Fish in Arizona. And, it, and they Ooh, stink. Fair. Arizona stinks for real. He's getting them there though. I mean, they look more competitive. And my, my you know, my wife's dad's a professor uh, or associate dean of research at Arizona. So like, I root for the Wildcats. You know, gotta. I, th- I like Jed. I think I don't yeah. think Jed did anything bad. Like I like no Jed Jed's awesome. Yeah. yeah, and I think I think he'll. I think I'm hoping that he'll get um you know get it done. Um, at least all all it takes to get it done at Arizona is go seven and five. Like you yeah. don't. That's all you need. And they're going to the Big 12 next year, so they'll get some wins against UCF, BYU maybe. I don't know. True. SMU. Um, yeah. So uh, the we didn't do a pod um, after this past uh, weekend um, because we were just all busy and a lot going on. Um, Oklahoma, Texas. Great game. Oh, that was fun game. to watch. Dylan Gabriel's fun to fucking watch, dude. Killed my bet. I picked Texas Moneyline, and that kind of broke we, my heart. We but, had a uh, whole group of guys, and all of us were on Texas. And oh, yeah. How like, could you not be? Yeah. But, dude, Dylan Gabriel's fucking sick. Yeah. He's, he, he's nasty, I, dude. I also need – I need the Texas horny shirt. I need it. I need I it. I haven't <laughs> seen that. 
It's just a, it's just the Longhorns and just straight up says horny. That's, That's fucking it. awesome. <laughs> Did you guys see the clip from one of the Oklahoma players? And he's like, "There's only two things I know in life, dude. Oklahoma fears God. Texas fears Oklahoma. They made yeah. that into a shirt. That's sick. I, I saw yeah, the video. That's your linebacker, right? The the yeah. white dude. Yeah. Fuck. That's a hard will- quote. Yeah, I, that is a hard quote. Also, you know, even though I was rooting for Texas in the moment, there's nothing more fun than going horns down. Horns oh, yeah, down maybe. is awesome, <laughs> and to be able to do it in in the big house all next year uh, is going to be so much fun. That would be a great time. I can't wait to go out to dinner like Friday before the game and just see Texas fans and just like not be wearing any Michigan stuff and just be like, hey, and they just. Just get him excited and uh, just go horns would, down. Would, do you think if you're a Texas fan, like, is that annoying at this point or just like overplayed? Or is it one of those things that you're just like, oh my God? It's, it's gotta be like, this, oh my God, shut the fuck up. It's gotta be the same as like Ann Arbor is a whore, right? Like, I think yeah, that's, right, I like, think that's such a lame, like, I, oh, it's Ann because it's a woman's name, but it's just like, right. I've seen that on shirts for years and I never found it to be that funny. It's not funny. Think, yeah, it's, it's not. Like, this is like clever. I think yeah. I think that's like fun. Like Anna Burr's a whore is like that's and stupid. it's something you can just like do in people's faces or like in the camera. You're just like that. Yeah, it's it's fun to do. I think so. I think I would get annoyed of it if I, if I was a Texas fan. Didn't uh, was it OU or a different team? Didn't they get fined for doing horns down? The whole Big Twelve. The big yeah. so that's like that's a classic situation where. The Big 12 like came out and you're like they're like if you do horns down you get penalized in fine which That's first of all is ridiculous but second yeah. of all it's just a classic thing like if you tell people not to do it they're going to want to do it right. more like Yeah that's like where do we stop with that like can can people playing Florida not do the gator chomp you know yeah, like like I mean, can we not have fun with this it's it's supposed to be fun after all 100% and it's i mean it's just a, it's like did you go to middle school? Because in if you went to middle school, you would know that telling kids not to do something makes them want to do it more. Yeah. And and we're all kids at heart, so yeah, there's going to be fifty year old people that do horns down because of that. So hundred percent. Speaking uh, of being a kid at heart, and I know this is going to take us on a wild tangent. Um, I got back into chess recently. Oh, kind of fun. You got to yeah. play Dono then. Dono, Cornelius, yeah. all those guys play chess. Dude, we got a uh, one of one of my teammates um, in the office. He like brought a little like tiny magnetic chessboard, and like we were playing like after work and shit. And uh, there started to be like a crowd of like people watching people playing, and we ended up getting like a new board. And uh, now like everybody like anytime they have any downtime, they're on like chess.com, just fucking playing <laughs> chess. <laughs> I love it. I love that. Um, yeah, you Donovan sent me his uh, his username one time, so I'll. Uh... I'll, I'll send it to you. I'll you just randomly play. friend him and fucking play him in chess. Absolutely. He probably will take it. That'd be awesome. Um, I'm trying to think of other games. Oh, Bama AM, where Bama probably should have lost that game. Is Bama also not good? They Milro is not it at QB, dude. I think the best uh, they got. I think Bama's kind of in a similar situation with Ohio State, at least as far as like my viewpoint of them. Like they're not bad, but they're just right. not as good as they like have or like when they've been that's dominating people yeah that's probably a good take i think that like in if they were if in normal standards they're still a really good football team but bama standards they're bad the trash. they're not gonna win a national title yeah that's pretty much it um i mean clemson also not good it's, it's tough, tough, I know, over it's here. tough for you um but like they beat wake 17 to 12. That's that's just not a good football game. That's like a fucking Illinois Indiana game. Yes, exactly. Exactly. Um, how about I will say I, I hate to say this, but Georgia, um, after looking not awesome for a decent for a couple weeks, I went good. and just beat the shit out of Kentucky. Yeah. Who, who was looking good up until Georgia? Yeah. So that kind of scares me. So they can stay number one. That's fine. I, hmm, they got to go to Knoxville. I don't know. Mm. That's interesting. They'll probably hey, go to maybe Joe Milton. Will become fucking. I don't know. I mean, dude, they've game. they've struggled with South Carolina. They struggled with um, Auburn. So you never know. But 
Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think once Carson, I mean, once Carson Beck figures it out, it's like, all right. Unfortunately, I think he's turning out to be pretty damn good. Um, <laughs> yeah. Well, it helps when you have Brock Bowers. Uh, yeah. He, where? Okay. Here, I have a question. Where do you guys think Brock Bowers is going to go in the draft? Top ten. I mean, probably top five. I would say top five because top you, five, probably. like TJ Hawkinson went top ten. Kyle Pitts went top ten, and this dude's um, unbelievable. I mean, he's he's a guy he's you can in college football. Yeah, he's a guy you can build a franchise around on the offensive side of the ball. He's so big. He's so athletic. He's fast. They run the ball with him, too. They use yeah. him in a fun way. Jet sweeps. I'll say that. Yeah. It's, I wish that we ran Colston like they run – they they do uh, Brock Bowers because it, it's pretty fun. Is you know who – fast enough for that? I don't know, but I just I just want <laughs> to see happen. that one time. Yeah. Give, me, give me one time. Yeah. Did you guys know that AJ Barner is the number one graded tight end in the country on PFF? Interesting. Because now you do. That is wow. a, that's a good fun. Bowers fact. is too. Fact. Yeah. He's hmm. AJ Barner's a, just a stud. Like Justin, I feel like you gotta tweet that out right now. I should. Uh, yeah, I, should, I probably should. Good fact call. check it, but yeah. <laughs> oh, oh. Brian said it's Thanks to for me. making up a stat, and then now our, well, our, our stats record. guy told me, and I told you, but lost in translation <laughs> sometimes. Telephone game, but that's what uh, that's hey, what Brian told me. Double B's, before, double B's, you know? big house told me that. So I think uh, we'll I, our show. I trust yeah. BB. Go, yeah. go listen to Blue by the Numbers. It's a great mm. pod. I'll yeah, listen to it today. I don't know shit, but we have a great time. Yeah. <laughs> if you don't know shit, then that's then what do we know? Yeah. That's fair. That's fair. I need to get BB, in my bag. For real though, BB is like an a, an encyclopedia. He yeah. knows so much. Yes, he does. He, he's just he's a, a sick office too. Or off that guy. We haven't you put know? it on YouTube. We just put it on Spotify. But like his office has like he has a Barry Sanders jersey, and then he has Pistons, Tigers, and Red Wings jerseys. I don't remember who. Why they don't are, you guys like, want it on sick. YouTube? We just haven't. I mean, I, not that we don't. We just haven't done it. So we could moving forward. You um, should. I just I just know how to do it on like Anchor for the uploading. So oh, that's um, we're getting we're getting two we in the weeks though on Blue by Let's Ninety now uh, of like inner workings of how we get the podcast up. So it's all right. Working on it. Having a great this time. This is uh, this is again what just like six weeks of not good opponents do to us. There's really not a whole lot to talk about. Yeah. Um, and uh, by, by the way, live reading of uh, our publisher CJ's tweet here. Mm. Um, it is, I would rather watch six pit bulls eat my parents alive than a single <laughs> second of another ESPN show where they yell shitty takes at each other. All right. CJ, just <laughs> Did that, dude, fucking love that, man. <laughs> that, CJ, you, that, you, you're a gem. You are. Oh, now, oh, what yeah. a beauty. Uh, he's not wrong though. I mean, not, a, I mean, about the ESPN part. But uh, no, no pit bulls. Uh, that's why. Um, um, speak- I have a question for you. I have a question. I have a question. Justin. All right. My question is: Do you think James Franklin was talking about Michigan, or was he actually talking about Indiana? I I don't think he was talking about Michigan, but I th- I love the fact that everybody got riled up and uh, made it about Michigan. What was it? Re- what was the quote again? Just for the listeners, so we can recap it real quick. What was it? It was something about uh, Tanner. Are you pulling it up? Yeah, I'm gonna pull it up. It was basically him talking about how teams were buying out of their contracts um, to play lesser opponents, um, and then like it was apparently okay. Here we go. Um, there's a team in this conference that's buying out a ton of game contracts to go in another direction. He added that you got to do whatever you possibly can to give yourself a chance to be undefeated. That's where I don't understand how it's Indiana. When is Indiana going to have a chance to be undefeated? Yeah. I mean, they didn't, <laughs> they probably went 0 and 1, didn't they? <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. So I don't know, like, what, but I guess Indiana had been buying out some games, but it's like, yeah, no shit. They're going to be playing Oregon and Washington and okay, whoever else. Then you want to know what's worse about that then is you're the coach of Penn State who, is supposed to be a Big Ten Conference title contender, and you're subtweeting Indiana football. <laughs> I mean, Gotta not have only feet that. Feet. I'm but... curious what the question was to him, too. Dude, that's where I'm like. There's yeah, got to be more context. My thing with James Franklin, though, is if you look at their 2025 
non-conference. As of right now, they have Nevada and Villanova. Power. I always forget Villanova even has a football program. I know I knew that they did, but I sometimes forget that. Hmm. I I'm gonna be honest, I didn't know that they did. Yeah, yeah F, they're FCS. They they seem they're FCS. Yeah. Okay. They seem so, like one of those schools that are like Gonzaga, like basketball only or something. Right. Or like Georgetown yeah. or whatever. Yeah. yeah. So like, I don't know. I think, oh, okay. Here's their 2026 schedule. Marshall, Temple, Buffalo. So I, what are I we just talking think about? It, it's bad either way. If you're, if you're, if you're subtweeting Michigan, then you're an idiot because yeah. you're riling up Michigan for no reason and creating bulletin board material if you're subtweeting indiana that is more embarrassing because yeah, they are a poverty football program and i don't understand why you're comparing yourself to them dumb dumb he's a dumb man he's a dumb man and i hope we beat the shit out of him in happy valley i, tr- I truly do Oh fuck! I've been, I've been on the Penn State's kind of mid train for a while. You guys know that. I've been kind of trash talking Penn State. I don't see it. Defense it's great. Be the o line's bad. It's not going to be the whiteout game because it'll be. Uh, it's a nooner already. Mm. Yeah. So it'll be. Uh, yeah, it'll be. Uh, not as riled up. Student section. Away games. I love noon. Absolutely. Yeah. Don't want to sit around all day waiting for. Your- yeah. Um. Yeah. Agreed with that. Agreed. Um, I'm trying to think of uh, some other topics. We're we're 36 minutes in. Yeah, I think. I mean, we, we Michigan's really good. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they beat the shit out of Minnesota, and they're probably going to do the same to Indiana and Michigan State and Purdue. So we got to make the uh, Ohio State game a trophy game. Nah, I want a full the, trophy case. Nah, the trophy is. Big trophy comes with the Big Ten championship. Come on now. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. That's uh I will say our it kind of stinks. Our trophy games are like I mean, Paul Bunyan's still team. very fun, but yeah. um that one's not gonna be like hyped up this year. Um Boston Bowl. The Boston Bowl sucks, you know. We don't we don't um we also aren't going to play Minnesota for a decent amount of time. I don't think once. I think it's a couple of years. Yeah. Which huh. the little brown jug is like the one of the coolest trophies. Just like that's what I love about college trophy games is just all the history behind them. Like the little brown jug being literally a jug that Michigan's like, you're going to poison our water. So we're going to bring our own water. And then Minnesota's like, we're going to steal it. And then Michigan was like, can we have it back? And they're like, play us for it. And now a hundred years later, we're playing for this old, jug like i just i love that kind of shit and and the box that it comes in literally just says football trophy that's like it. there's oh. the, the simplicity of like where those originated is awesome for sure um i will say that like conference realignment affecting all that does stink absolutely there's, i think that and like just the regionality of you know I never come across a USC fan, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. um, or an Oregon fan, really. Um, but I do come across like an Iowa fan randomly or something like that, or Wisconsin people. Um, so that part does stink. Uh, I will say I am 1000% sailgating in next year. I'm down. Where I was going to go in 2020. Was- so. I was going to go in 2020 as well. Washington. They do sail oh. meeting, which is – that's like a dream. I've never been out west. I think that would be fucking sick. Mm-hmm. I just love college football so much, honestly. Yeah. I do love was, college football. Like, I was just pulling up, like, the top college football, like, trophy games. And, like, the Notre Dame-USC uh, is the jeweled shillelagh. I believe that's how you say that. Oh, um, I've been to the old shillelagh. Yeah, yeah. We've got Paul Bunyan's axe for uh, Wisconsin, Minnesota, and then Floyd of Rosedale, which is a brass pig for Iowa, Minnesota. I love the Midwest. I'll just Midwest and college football are just the best, dude. Like we just come up with here's a pig trophy for Iowa, Minnesota. I I will say, you know, the SEC like loves to tell us everybody that they're the best, and you know, maybe they are. I don't know. It's you know, they win a lot of championships. Fine, Mm -hmm. but. There is nothing better than being like we're the Midwest and we care about football a lot in the winter, like fall, fall and winter. Oh yeah, like 
and, and it's Dude. cold and you're a you're a you're so soft if you yeah i know like we're joking about the cold but like <laughs> um one of my favorite things around this time of year is when it does get colder like going to a game especially a noon game makes it even better and then you just come home and you just like have some chili on the on the oh, uh, crock pot up, you get like some some wool socks on some sweats mm. and you're just watching football like mm. that's a great time and being mm. in the being in football in the elements is that's one of the more uh, more enjoyable things in life, in my opinion. And as long as it's not raining and you're, yeah. you stay dry, like I love it. Like if it was snowing, that'd be cool. Yeah, snow's fine, cold's fine, rain is just God, Ugh. fun sucker. Well, it's a good ra- good thing it's not going to rain this weekend. Um, I'm still hoping so the weather changes. We, you're still hoping. <laughs> you're I you're hoping. Hope. We're like 36, 36 hours out. We'll uh, we'll hope for some uh, some change oh. here. God, I'm um, but. Uh, Either way, we'll see you Saturday. I mean, I'll be there. I'll yeah, be in the big we'll be out and about. I'll yeah. be there. We, uh, you know, wouldn't miss it anyway. So, um, for us, you can follow us at Blue by Ninety on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook at Blue by Ninety Podcast on YouTube and Blue by Ninety dot com. We appreciate you. Go blue. Go blue. Go blue.